First one, and the most obvious one. Freeing women from the tyranny of bi uh, reproductive biology. Birth huh? Birth. Say what? Birth control. No, 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 she doesn't mean that at all. Uh, birth control was the, by the way, technological, the advanced birth control was the beginning of that process for her. But where must it naturally conclude? Or unnaturally conclude? Taking it away, like, taking it out of nature. She means technological reproduction yeah. of babies. Uh, in other words, you've got to get women's bodies out of the business of reproducing the species. Uh, the second thing is, is the complete socialist uh, 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 revolution. Uh, the complete, uh, um, and by the way, you'll see that she's a Marxist. I'm going to go out on a limb here today and Thursday and suggest that Friedan is also in some ways a Marxist. I'll try to make what that s sounds like, because if you look at the end of today's notes, I thought of an interesting way of reframing both all three of these things, all four of them actually. Uh, Wollstonecraft, De Beauvoir, Friedan, and um, Firestone. I just realized, by the way, I left the E off her name um, in the first line. That's what happens when you do things in a hurry. Um, look at the last part of the notes, under four. De Beauvoir, what did she bring to the table? And in thinking about that question and trying to summarize, I think there's like one core answer, as you'll see, because she's um, she is both same and different. The core elements of her feminism are found in Wollstonecraft and Friedan, and even to some degree in, in uh, uh, Firestone. But she's also different. So in understanding a, a, an important and influential thinker like this, uh, who, who, who does, what does she bring to the table? She brings something very important to the table. And, and you, I've already told you that, that Wollstonecraft, even though she's given pride of place in terms of um, being uh, the first truly visible modern feminist speaking as a feminist, yet sh her legacy is mixed in, in the eyes of many subsequent 20th century feminists for reasons that we've seen. She's considered inconsistent, she tries to embrace contraries, uh, uh, women need to be both independent and nurturing, and as you're going to see, there's a certain sense in which, uh, 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 as you'll see, Firestone says, yes, that has been the case, but once technology changes everything, uh, women won't need to be nurturing anymore. So tell us the four differences. Uh, not the four differences, you're talking about the four elements the four, yeah, the four of, elements. of Firestone's platform. Yeah. Well, what's the first one? Huh? No more. Can't hear you. No more birth. Yeah. Birth will be socialized, industrialized, and rendered a general part of society. You've already seen, I never thought of this before, this very instant, Chrislyn, pushed by your question in a way. You've already seen a fictional anticipation of that. Spreading what? In this class. Uh, in this class? Huh? Huh. Yeah. Uh, now, it's yeah. not quite the same. Remember, we talked about the science fiction correction. But in a way, uh, what she, what, you're going to see that, that, and this is both one of the most interesting, problematic, appealing or unappealing, it depends on who you are and your, your point of view, elements of Furland. Furland? <laughs> I'm sorry, Furland. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, um, that was a that was a slip of the tongue. It's both forks. Um, um, and, um, um, the uh, uh, but wouldn't you here here? If you've read her land, is do you agree or disagree with the statement? Every woman in this society is a mother. Yet motherhood is actually experienced by a tiny minority of members of her land. Yet every woman is a mother. Yes. See what I mean by that? You, 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 it looks like you're processing that. Yeah, I, I would agree. This is socialized. This is everyone, every single, like everyone grooms the children. To Correct. Be That's right. Now let's be clear what that means. Remember, only a tiny minority of women in her line actually have the, the gift. Uh, uh, but it turns out, and here's here's the critical thing, and what she's telling you. It, yet that doesn't mean that the women that actually whose bodies out of which the babies actually come have any more intense or unique a relationship with those babies than any other woman. In other words, in a way, her land is both Socratic and pre-anticipatory of, of, uh, of Firestone. Do you remember in Book 5 of the Republic how Plato characterizes the abolition of the family? Everyone in the city will say what with respect to a particular child? 
It's my child. Mm -hmm. So in other words, everybody sees that child and says, my child. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks at a certain person in a certain generation older and says, that's my father, that's my mother. In other words, the distinction between my and our has become obscured. In fact, eliminated. Mm -hmm. My and our have become synonymous. So, but in a way, it's not, it's not Firestonian in that babies still come out of mother's bodies. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Firestone wants science to so change the human condition that individual female bodies never produce individual children. And by the way, for her, that is the defining achievement. Because until you have that, mothers will want to, and, and this is why I think she would be unsatisfied. I don't know if, I, if Firestone ever read in her land, um, uh, but I, I, I think she'd find it unsatisfying. Because she would say, it, it's not just a science fiction equality, I think she would say it's actually impossible. As long as you have individual babies come out of individual women's bodies, you'll have that woman wanting, attached to, caring about that child more than others. Now, in a way, but it's still Firestonian in that is that the burden of raising children has now been so generalized that the whole society does it. Mm -hmm. So every and, and every person in that society, every woman loves every child equally. Now. Uh, that points to an interesting dilemma. You remember when the three guys get married to their tutors? Mm. Each marriage struggles. Terry struggles because he, he can't get used to the idea that he's, uh, I was gonna say dealing with an equal, actually probably dealing with a superior. Um, uh, Terry's probably a shit. <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably. I mean, probably. Terry strikes me as the kind of guy that would have graduated from Wofford, head of a fraternity. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, no problem with Wofford. I love Wofford. Uh, and, and although I, I'm probably, I'm not anti fraternity, um, but I've been at schools that had them and didn't have them. And, uh, and fraternities actually do some wonderful things for some people, and sororities too. Uh, but if you ask me, do they do more harm than good in the academic environment? I, I'm, I'm pretty close to being on one side of that question, although just barely. I think it encourages cheating. Mm -hmm. uh, it encourages uh, club loyalty over academic integrity, and it encourages back in the And it's, I think it is corrective of respect for women. And sports, too. Yeah. Well, they're almost, I mean, it, it's funny what, what fraternities and sororities are. And it may very well be that men have such different psyches than women, that fraternities are different for men than sororities are for women. Um, you kind of got her land here at Congress College with the red shirts <laughs> and the... And the <laughs> Pink what? The Panther. Oh, Pink Panther. Yeah. Panther. What's the three names of that? The <laughs> Red <laughs> Shits. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> class of Red Shits. <laughs> How many do you care about that? I don't care about it that much. I, I mean, is it fun? I mean, it's I'm fun, sure. but it's not like a big I'm not deal. Sure I'm <laughs> I feel that way. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you understand, this was an attempt in an all-female environment to have some of the bonding of 